If keeping up with every new AI model feels impossible, you're not alone. It seems like every new week, there's a brand new language model that everyone is hyping up and telling you that you absolutely have to try. But actually testing them, comparing their outputs, and deciding whether or not this model makes the most sense for your prompts or your projects is pretty much chaotic. To try to solve this problem, I built an agentic automation that takes your prompts and runs them through every brand new model, whether it's OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, or even something like Llama. And it logs the output of each one of the models into a very tidy and easy to read Google Sheet. But wait, there's more. I added a second automation that takes on the persona of a judge to help you decide and shorten the time to understand what is the best model for your particular prompt based on the performance alone. No more manual copy paste and no more chasing hype just a list of the models that actually work the best for your particular use case. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through both automations so you can focus on the performance instead of the hype and the benchmarks. If you're tired of testing every shiny new model that doesn't end up actually moving the needle, this will help a lot. Let's get into it. Before we walk through the automations, let's actually see these automations in action. So you see here, I have a Google Sheet and we have a simple column called prompt where all you have to do is enter your prompt, we'll execute the workflow and you'll see the magic happen. So let's say here, create a 30 second script for a YouTube video for a video about breaking down artificial general intelligence. And then we'll just put that here and I'll just wrap the underlying column just so it looks a little bit better. So let's do this and this. There we go. And all we have to do is go and run our first handy dandy automation. We'll click on execute workflow and we'll see what happens. And in just under five minutes, this finishes running. And if we go back to the Google sheet, you'll see here, we have pretty much every single model, at least mainstream model that's out there with its draft of our prompt. So we could go through all of this and assess which ones do the best out of the box, especially given the fact that our prompt is not that sophisticated, but overall it'll give you a really good pulse for how each language model behaves. And to make it easier to navigate, you can just double click on each one of these and see exactly which model and which version and date of that model that it's using. So if you can see right here, we have OpenAI 03 Pro. And if we double click this and you scroll down, you'll see that the way it structures the script is a bit different from, if we take another random one, let's say Google Gemini 2.5 Pro, it will have some commentary at the beginning. And the way it writes that script will be ever so different. Now, while this is awesome, it would be better if we had some form of judge to be able to look through everything and help us decide which model fits best for this use case. Now in the workflow, after our first automation finished running, we had this section right here called execute workflow call this next workflow to run that acts as the judge that loops through and goes through all of our results and assesses what are the top three picks or top three models that perform the best according to a certain criteria. And obviously you can change that criteria as you wish, depending on your use case and your industry. But the result is awesome. If you go back into the Google Sheet and go to the judge tab right here, you'll see the system prompt of the judge so you can change it as you wish. And then you'll see right here, the underlying prompt we sent over, as well as the response. And the response looks like something like this, where it says, based on the provided outputs, the top three models for generating concise, engaging 30 second YouTube scripts are, in this case, it chose GPT-4, Cloud 3.5, and Gemini latest versions, and it walks through why. Now, obviously you can skew the system prompt by saying, hey, only choose these kinds of models or only choose free models because the entire automation here is using something called open router, which has access to pretty much every single model that's out there. And since it has a combination of both closed source language models like OpenAI, Claude and Gemini, as well as open source like Llama, Quen, as well as Mistral, then you can actually assess, can I get away with open source models? So you can even tell it, try and only pick from open source or only pick from closed source or one of each. And that's what makes this so potent is that you can keep adding more and more prompts. So we could run this again in sheet one for as many prompts as we want. And we can go to the next row, write another prompt, run it. And the automation is smart enough to be able to go through every single model that open router has and see whether or not there's a Delta, meaning a brand new model that it doesn't have in our current columns. And then it will add that column and then run it for the next row and the next row. And in case you wanted a log of every single model that was ran, you can click on models right here. You'll see the underlying prompt we sent over as well as every single model 
that it went through. So whether or not you want to look at it column wise or row wise, you'll be able to see here very quickly the span of different models that it tested. And with that, let's jump into the first end to end automation to see exactly how it works. Before we go node by node, let's look at what the automation does at a high level. So purpose, we know it, we want to be able to test different AI models with the same questions. So in terms of the trigger, it runs on a schedule by default. You can change this to be triggered by you entering a brand new row or maybe a brand new prompt and then it runs. So by default, we set it to this just so I can manually run it and test it very easily. The next is you get the test questions or prompts from the Google Sheet. So that's step number two. Then we check if there's previous tests, meaning we look up which AI models were already tested to not have to rerun that over and over again. And this helps us avoid wasting time on running the same thing multiple times and more so spending from our Open Router API credits. And on that note, if you're not familiar with how Open Router works, if you go to their docs and you go to sign in, you'll be able to go to your settings right here, go to credits, see how many credits you have in your account. And then if you wanna to go to add an API key, you can click on this right here, add your API key, and then you're good to go. And like I said, the cool part about Open Router is it gives you access to all of these models. So as I scroll down here, you have access to all these open source and closed source models, and they're really good at keeping up to date with the latest and greatest. And on that note, it's a good segue to step number four, we send via an API request to collect all the models that they have in their list. And we try in this case to filter for Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic. Now you can remove this filter and enable things like open source models to be assessed as well, but you wanna be a bit more picky because they have hundreds of models. So you probably don't wanna run hundreds of columns and spend all that API credit. So it would definitely be helpful to go on their model sheet and see which providers are the ones of interest for you so you can filter and really delineate and narrow down your scope and list. And the next two steps are pretty straightforward. We're gonna test each model and loop through iteratively through our AI agent in the automation, get the responses, and then eventually take all of those responses we've looped through and save them to the Google Sheet in the right columns and in the right tabs. So starting off, we have a schedule trigger. And in this case, our schedule trigger is running at midnight. You can make this whatever you want by changing the days or the days between the triggers. Or if you wanna be able to run this weekly, you could change it as well to every week or every month. It depends on what your cadence is and how often you wanna reevaluate your specific prompts against different models. The next one is we obviously wanna get the prompt from the Google Sheet itself. So we read the sheet and we retrieve the latest prompt from the latest row. And this next node is probably the most important one. It loops over the items, meaning it loops through every single model and puts it through the agent over and over again until we've reached the end of the models that we care about. And if we're running the same prompt again, we wanna make sure that we're adding net new columns and not repeating the same prompt against the same models over and over again. Now the next steps are aggregating all the models we have and then sending a request to Open Router via API to list every single model they have. And if we double click this node, you'll see that we have almost an infinite doom scroll of every single model that ran, as well as the payload of that underlying model, whether it's GPT 4.1. And if we keep scrolling down, we'll see all kinds of models. So you'll see this one, I can't even pronounce the name, but it's ran this model that seems to be free and open source, which is one of the many benefits of using Open Router is you have access to all kinds of APIs, many of which are free. This one ran the XAI Grok 3 mini beta. So you get the idea, you have all the models at your disposal. This next step, we standardize all of the outputs from listing all the models. So if we double click this and click on table. So you'll see here, if we drag this to the left, we have all kinds of columns such as ID, which is the name of the model. We have the name, we have the description, which is pretty much the output of the prompt itself the context length, which is super helpful because if you wanna only filter on models that have a certain context length, you can, as well as some information about the pricing of that particular prompt, information about that provider, and last but not least, any parameters that you can use with certain models versus others. One key thing to note here is that if you deal with reasoning models, you'll have very different parameters than non-reasoning models, so keep that in mind. In the next step, we'll discard all the models we already have in the Google Sheet, and then one of the more important parts, the filtering. So in this case, we are delineating and filtering out anything that does not contain words like Anthropic, Google, or OpenAI. And again, you can keep adding your delimiters or remove these or just say, I want all Anthropic models or all Google models or all OpenAI models. And this next part here is the part where the automation spends the most time, where the AI agent is speaking to the open router chat model, taking the singular prompt we've processed and running it through every single model that we've now filtered on. If we open this up, we don't have any custom prompt. It's just taking the prompt we're processing from our original input. And then the result 
is each and every one keeps looping until we get to the end of the list. Then we extract the models we have, we add the model outputs to the sheet like we saw before, and then we add the models to the use sheet. And the next two steps are adding the model outputs as well as the columns to the sheet and making sure that if there are no columns that we write them, if there are columns, we don't overwrite. And once this automation is done running overall, it knows to go to the next step, which is to invoke the next workflow we'll go through right now. Now for the second workflow, we have the entry point right here. And all we do is we grab the prompt once again, but this time we grab all the underlying outputs. So if we double click into executions and just take a look at the result, and then we'll double click right here. You'll see the before is we take the original system prompt and the system prompt is what we saw on the sheet on the judge side. So if you go to here and you go to here, it says you are an impartial judge assessing the performance of large language models, recommend a shortlist of three top LMs. Then you can make the six, you can make this one, whatever you want. You can just experiment and see what fits the best. If we go back here, all we do is we grab all the columns that we generated and then we go to the next step where we jumble them, which is basically we'll take those columns. If you go to the left hand side, we basically transform this structure into this structure, a more tabular format. So it's easier to feed into the underlying language model. And then if we go into the next step right here, we'll double click and you'll see that we have the following prompt, which just says we tested different model responses on a single prompt. The prompt we tested on the model is then we insert the prompt right here. Here's the model response, and then we just go and assess it. So you can see these are all the outputs from before, and then it goes through, and then based on the system prompt that we have, again, right there in the Google Sheet, it will create the following output. And all we do at the very end is take that output and then write it back to the Google Sheet. And in this case, we just have to make sure it's on the right tab, which we call the Judge tab. And one last thing is if you want to separate this workflow so it doesn't always run every single time you assess the model outputs, you can just remove this from here. And then when it loops over, this first automation will finish without having to send it over to the next automation. And that's pretty much it. So once you have this main workflow set up, you can marry it with the second workflow. And then you'll have a Google Sheet that you can use, very lightweight, enter the prompts that matter to you, your project or your business and either assess them empirically by going through each one and seeing which model delivers the results you're looking for, or use something like the judge automation to help you go through all the outputs and assess the best ones really quickly. Now, if you want access to the very first workflow I showed you, I'll make that available in the first link in the description below. But if you want the second one, along with all kinds of productivity hacks, edit and experiments and mad scientist experiments, you'll find that in the second link in the description below in my exclusive paid community called Early AI Adopters. I'll see you in the next one.